the Apple ALC correctly, you would have the instant response from built in and when you plug in the headphone. And also, when you plug in the HDMI, it will be able to show you that it's working. So you can select either one of them. With the HDMI, we can have the sound to the HDMI. Now when we unplug it, the sound goes back to internal. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to patch. And what important thing is that when you patch correctly with the right Kodak Commander, when you go put it to sleep, and when it wakes up, the sound will still be there without losing the sound or microphone. All right. So I'm recording from the microphone right now. Today I'm going to show you how to patch the Apple ALC so you can have sound internally. So the first thing you need to do is to find out what you have in your laptop or your desktop whatever. So this one happened to be connection 141F 050F4. So what we need to do is to open the calculator. So now when we look at here, this is in hex. So what you need to do is with the calculator, you have to view programmer 16 14F1 1 4 F 1 5 0 F 4 5 0 F 4 so we're going to turn it into base 10 so this is 3 5 1 so we're going to copy this down now what we're going to do is that we're going to open the ALC. It doesn't matter if it's Clover or OC, it's just different. It's a config file. So let's look at this one. So I have a Kex here and I look at the Apple ALC. So let's look at this one. So this one is version 1.5. I think it's the latest one. So. So what we do is going to right click, show package content, contents, and we're going to open the info list. So when you go to the info list, I okay personality. So we're going to go to HDA and config default. So what you're going to search for is this. There's two way. So what you need to do for is let's first do alternate app into search. Look for connection. See this connection. So they have many of them in here. So what you want, and you want to look for your exact model, which is three five one three five. Nine two two zero zero. See that? So my connection right here is CX two zero seven two four, and I have a layout ID by Moroni is three, and I also have. So I also have the layout ID thirteen. So. I only have two guys, two layout ID to try. 
to patch this is very simple. You put the Apple ALC in a Gex folder with Lilo and whatever green. So they have to be updated with their own compatibility. So the version is 1.45 for the Lilo and whatever green is a version 1.40 and you have to get the Kodak Commander 2.62 okay so four files to get this one working so now all we need to do you don't have to patch the SDT or anything like that all you need to do is go to config file so this config file is open core. So open core is very simple. You go to the MV RAM, you add right here. So the boot argument. You type in ALC ID equal to whatever the ID you want, the layout ID. So for me, I use 13 and it works perfectly. You can try 3 or you can try 13. Okay, so now what happens if you use Clover? So when you open the Clover config, the same thing. You have to put all those into the Kex folder. But with Clover, you put in other folder. So you have Apple ALC you have Lilu and whatever green and Kodak Commander all four or five have to be together actually Apple ALC is dependent on the Lilu so at least three five have to be together alright so in the devices in Clover they have the audio so all you do is inject the T reset the HDA yes you can use the um, PCI root but with Clover just use the audio is the best okay the same as open core don't mess around with the PCI root thing that a lot of people are created from the hacking tool about patching Apple ALC is that your USB port must be working now what happened if you have the ALC by Realtek instead so the same thing you go to the calculator and you type in now make sure it's 16 so you're gonna do the Kodak ID that is the one you need to use. So you could do one zero E C that is real tech zero two five uh -uh, five six and then we we'll just click the ten base ten. So now we have this. So what we're going to do at the info list, we're going to search 283902550. There it is. So this one's ALC 256. And if you look here, they have layout ID 5. Layout ID 11, Layout ID 13, Layout ID 14. Wow, they got a lot. For the Apple ALC and the ALC Realtek 256 in the Dell, I use Layout ID 13 and it works perfectly. And if you have the IDT 92HD 
91BXX. So do you don't really care about what's back here? You care about the Kodak ID. So it's 1, 1, 1. D 76E0. So 76E0. Click space 10. So now we're going to go back to our X code. Two eight seven one four three six four eight. So here I have layout ID three, layout ID twelve, layout ID thirteen, layout ID thirty three, layout ID eighty four. That's it. So this one. I use layout ID 3. So you must know what a Kodak ID of your laptop or your desktop. Codecs that Apple ALC can do very easily if you know the number is in there, right? So it doesn't matter which model you in the back here, you don't really care. What you care about is Kodak ID. And make sure the USB is working. If the USB is not working, chances are sometimes your sound card doesn't work. Alright, that's it. Apple ALC how to patch easily without doing anything. No patching DSDT.